Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back, it is day 58, and today we are continuing with Venethka Sans. It is time to get ourselves into a raid. Almost, almost, almost. So, let's just remind ourselves where we are at. Prefer to fight the champion of Scabarus, so we want some ranged combat gear it's quite a hard fight from what i remember so i probably want to fully just prepare myself i'm not gonna bother with birds and stuff at the minute because we're gonna have spare time anyway so i'll just do that during that portion as we start out just want to get this done i think that's about right first fight unlock the door fight protect from magic keep four tiles at all times whenever a rift or swamp appears kill it is weak to ranged attacks yeah, I remember it being tough. So, we're going to bring a couple of Staminas. Do we have any super defense? No. Let's just pop to the GE. Grab a super defense, just in case he accidentally gets into melee range. Although, if he does, we're probably fucked. I'm actually just going to replace one of these with a super energy. So I can spam it a bit more. Wow, super energies are expensive too. Still cheaper than a Stamina. Okay... Food and the rusty key. How do we get there as well? Unlock the door to start the fight, but like, where do we? Okay, so I'm just gonna have to go to the tomb place again, which means we want the Pharaoh Scepter on us. We may want some anti poison, I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna get one because I didn't have one yesterday other than a single dose. And we will probably want more run energy, won't we actually? because we're running there as well. I don't think we need anything else to get in there, into the ruins. Just a water skin and a knife, I guess, because we don't have a stab we uh, slash weapon at the minute. I think that's like everything we want. Just get a few cry potions. I may be misremembering, but I feel like there's a there's potential that this guy drains you prayer. I can't remember 100%. So I'm just going to get plenty and then we'll get good food because, again, I feel like this is the hard fight for some reason. Okay, to Jal Savra we go. Didn't bring any teleports out, possibly in oversight. Guess if we die, we die. I should probably check this thing's loaded as well. Yes, we've got amethyst starts. Probably should have brought the rune ones, but oh well. Never going to harm to have extra. Yeah, and two more fights left. It's pretty much all we got to do. And a bit of running around. And then we'll get to chill for the rest of the day and just do some upkeep. Just consolidate our money, sell off a bunch of random crap that we've acquired along the way. See if we can just scrounge up a little bit more money and find something to upgrade. I should have pre-pod. Okay. Maybe I should just auto. Kill the scarabs, right? Get away from him so he doesn't do that to you. So far so good, it's a little slow, but we're getting there. That's not good. Man, the range on this thing is terrible. And I'm also not using it correctly because I'm fucking running around so much. Oh my gosh. I just realized how quick this thing fires. I haven't used the blowpipe that many times. 
always a surprise to me when I come back to it. I don't know what the, the rift does, but I don't trust it, so... We're not gonna risk that. I feel like a fortic weapon would probably be better here. If we had any, like, normal bolts, I would have just bought, uh, or a 5 tick crossbow even. Oh shit, I need to get on that scarab. Talking too much. Yeah, if we had, like, a, a 4 or 5 tick weapon here, I feel like we'd be getting a lot more value out of this kiting strategy. But because we're working with the blowpipe and it has such short range, I don't think the blowpipe was the right tool for this, basically. I picked the right, the wrong tool for the job. I'd have been better off with some... Addy bolts in a RCB. Gonna report because I just want this last bit of damage now. I feel like if you leave those rifts, it fills the whole arena, maybe. With like that black stuff. Die! There we go. Okay. We are leaving the dungeon. Where are we going though? Nada. So let's just get the fuck out. I didn't bring the teleport, but I'm not running to Nada from here, so can't use teleports from here. Wow. That is rude. Yeah, if we had to run all the way around there, it'd be a pain. Honestly, I'm just gonna buy a teleport for like 30k. I can't be asked to get a carpet. I think we need melee gear for the last bit, but We'll be going back to soften them first, so we can just bring ourselves the light stuff. Help with the running around a bit. Oh, in fact, we could just fairy ring to Nada, couldn't we? That would be too bad. It's pretty close to the fairy ring. Okay, any cooked or raw meat and a water skin. I'm gonna get all my water skins, need to fill them up. That is a raw chicken. Raw meat, raw meat, raw meat. We've got some energy, we need a weapon to cut the water skin with, that's going to be a Zami Hasta, and we're off. Still didn't bring a dueling ring or anything, but that's okay, because we can teleport to soften them. Where are all the boaties when you need one? My water skins are looking kind of dry. It's too far away, too far away. Oh, Falmon, that'll do. Who needs booty when you've got a Falmon? Nothing. Oh, it's dry? The fuck? The absolute fuck? The gall. The audacity of these bitches to have a dry fountain in the middle of a desert. Why are all these chat dialogues so long? I get it. We're like gods and shit and yeah, it's all big danger. But why are they all so long? Right, time to meet me dad. Hey ups dads, now I call this guy dad because my dad's called Roger. And I've literally in my life never met another Roger. I don't think they come up that often. I mean who wants to name the son Roger anyway? It's a bit of a shit name isn't it? No offence Roger, or dad. Actually yeah, offence dad. Can I use my water skin on this barrel? Or if you want water you have to buy it. A thousand a water skin. Suck a dick from the back, how about that? No idea what the fuck that was. Okay, we will go straight back to the Sophenum. And we have just this final portion to go once I've delivered this current. Which is a fight. Uses only melee. Will occasionally cast lightning in front of her. So be prepared to walk behind or to the side. Whenever a shadow version appears, kill them quickly so they'll deal a lot of damage. I think you can just ignore the shadows to be honest, but we'll see. And then yeah, it's just melee gear in it. So, we'll pop to the bank, get ourselves geared up and ready to go, and then go kill this bad boy. Unlock raids access. Now, you may be thinking, well, why aren't you just going to a raid today? Well, not the best idea, because there's no chance we'll get it done in time, and you can't log out in the middle. So, not much point in me doing that one. It would just waste my supplies. Which is why, unfortunately, today we can't go in, even though we're pretty much ready to. Alright, take that, because it's already had a drink out of it. And I'll take a stamina, because we always want stamina. Prayer. Okay. That looks decent enough. Oh, do we want the scepter, though, to get back? We might want the scepter. And we might want a dueling ring as well. Let's just put another shark back. Get dueling ring. Okay. Oh, I don't have desert heat protection. I forgot a water skin. Let's hope that doesn't fuck me over. Man, I never bargain for long cutscenes in these quests. 
I'm like, yeah, this won't take that long. It's just a fight. I forget completely about cutscene. Get it. TLDR, Osman's kind of a dick. Come on then, you cunt. Let's have it. Why am I not doing any damage? That's a shadow. Let's get on that. That was kind of lucky that I pathed out of the way because of the shadow. But I think this is how you meant to do it. Just hit, run behind. And then that keeps you safe from it. Unless you're bad. Okay, I'm going to take that all off. Yeah, so we just hit her, run behind, and then kill the shadow when it spawns. If you take damage, heal up, play it safe. Make sure there's a space behind her to run into. I'm trying to make sure that I, like, actually explain what I'm doing on the bosses for this, because I remember somebody in the comments saying they were struggling with it, so... It's not too tough, this one. I imagine it was probably the last fight that you had more trouble with, but... Oh, this guy's maging. You actually have a decent bit of time to react and, and until it hits, so... I'm just gonna ignore this one, because we're so close. Oh, no, he's absolutely slapping me. That was rough. Okay, that one that we can ignore. There we go. Oh, look, Osman's here again. Now the danger's done. Okay, Desert Heat Hitters. Once again, we will use that Gel Sabra Teleport straight back in to soften them to turn in this quest, and we have access to Raid's Yall along with the Fairy Ring right next to it. And now for the most anticlimactic meeting of all time. There we go, a shit ton of agility XP. We went all the way up to 63, that's seven levels, y'all. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make our run energy so much better. Speaking of, I'm running straight on down to the tombs itself because I know for a fact, I'm, well, I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty certain that when you enter for the first time, there's a cutscene with Mesa. And I don't want that to surprise me. So I'm just going to go and get it done. I've got an uncharged circle of water on my head and a Keris Partisan that is no longer the weapon we are taking into raids thanks to this Sammy Hasta. And you can see the Hasta does have much, much better stats than the Partisan. Though without the chance to do triple damage to cow fights, we don't really care that much about that. I'm communing with this just to unlock the teleport because we're running past it anyway. We don't really need to because we're going to be selling this. But figured I may as well just get that teleport while I'm there in case I ever do buy one again in the future. And yeah, see how bad this cutscene is. It's probably a good thumbnail shot to be fair. Let's go. Okay, that wasn't that bad at all. Excellent. We're ready to raid. Oh, one last thing before we're ready to raid. Let's get this on this little shelf over here. If you don't know, you need to bring a pickaxe into this raid if you don't want to have absolutely abysmal times in one of the puzzle rooms. But you can pop it on that little shelf there to bring it in with you. And I highly recommend doing so. If you've got a dragon one, bring it, but we don't, so we ain't. All right then, all right then. I guess we're, I'm just gonna go do a birdhouse run and then her herb run while I sort of use my brain to plan out my routing from here. I don't know, my brain is a dangerous prospect. Cause we got about half an hour, so we may as well see if we can make use of it. I'm gonna do my burbs and my herbs and then I will get the staffs as well. Head on over to Miscellanea, top up our approval rating and claim everything and then take all our money out of it as well. Because I just want to consolidate everything and then I'm just going to go clean up my bank a bunch. So there might not be, it might be a shorter episode, but I'm going to just like 
all the random shit that we've acquired along the way that we might have used for a quest or a clue step or whatever and it's just sat in my bank because I deposited it and forgot about it. Like, I'm just going to clean all that up and see what the cash stack looks like because it might be a bit higher than we expect after I seriously go through my bank. Who knows? We'll just have to see. For now though, that is a decent amount of nests from the birdhouses and a palm tree seed. An extra 20k. We do have a clue as well, actually, don't we? I've just remembered that. What was the step? Oh, we've done a step of it as well. I remember. The one that I accidentally spoiled things on. Any man. Kill a man for the key. Doesn't say a man in your nil. It just says a man. Can I just kill a man down here? I don't really want to run down there, though, but I'm sure I'll run past a man at some point during this farm run. Man, can you imagine? We just get, like, a 50 mil drop in this clue scroll. Just casual ranger boots. Turn that into bandos, and there we have the upgrade conversation about our melee gear just eliminated. That'd be amazing. Man, it feels like we have one dead every day at this point. It's a good job we're getting towards the end, and I stop caring. Oh, fuck, I moved my house! Quick reroute. I figured if I was teleporting into Varrock, I may as well grab those while I was there, but thank you very much. Man, can you imagine if you could just do that in real life? Just just pick my house up and put it in LA instead. We'll put our normal stuff on the GE. Like nests, toad flax, etc. There's no point putting the mahogany on, curse. Oh, is there a drop party going on? Do I join this random drop, drop party, see if I get anything? Am I going to waste my time? Get sniped by bots. Oh, I got rune long. Okay, okay. I don't want a sapphire. Show me the money. Okay, it's just sapphires. Never mind. I mean, it's all just sapphires. So at least we got some money out of that rune long. Okay, we're gonna go over to miscellanea. We still need to kill a man. So let's not forget about that one. We do need an axe. And I'm just going to get wealth as well, because I'll be asked to use the fairy ring. Lovely stuff. Uh, we've got our cash, we've got this, we've got a way to get back. Yeah, we're all good. Fuck that tree. It's getting down to it now, fucks. I'm going to have about 10 mil before I go to the bank again and actually start cleaning up. So I'm probably going to spend the next 20 minutes or so until there's just a few minutes left on the clock and then make my way back to raids, get geared up, invent set up with my pre-pots ready to go. So that tomorrow I can log in and head straight into the tombs, have as much time in there as possible. There we are, 100. It's probably a decent amount of herbs and logs built up as well in this of the last few days. So that'll be some extra profits. In fact, why don't we just put our thing on and we can see how much we're claiming right away. Check the allocation. I'm not sure if it matters how much you're having when you claim, so I'm just going to top it up to full before claiming and then take it all out. Okay, we got 800k there, and then we withdraw all our money. Thank you very much, and we will head back to the Grand Exchange. No, we won't. We're going to go kill a man. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We'll sell up and then go kill the man. Right, time to start trolling... have a spirit seed to turn in as well. I'm trying not to get all the garbage because there's just not much point. So I'm just carefully looking for anything that I think might have value. Because we're going through so much stuff at the moment, I'm going to need my space on here. So whenever it fills up, I will just start taking stuff up out and putting it down in price. Okay, that didn't take long. Oh, these didn't sell, so we'll put them all down. Okay, we're on 12 mil, 12.9 mil. I'm gonna go do this clue step. And I'll get a skills necklace as well, so I can go turn in this spirit seed. Let's go to the watchtower first, though. We can't go to Yanil yet, still. Does it have to be a man nearby? Because there's two right here. See you later, bro. Okay, what's the next one? Arcus Library is there. That's fine. 
I'm just gonna go to the farming guild, trade this in, see if we get out. Uh, we got a magic seed, and a palm tree seed, some earrits then all their fault. Yeah, we got a couple things there, that's like 100k, that's fine. Not gonna complain. Head on over to the Arceus library. And there's the casket. Of course. Don't know what I was expecting. There's not really much value here, is there? A couple hundred K, but most of it is in that mahogany lock. So we got about 13 mil, honestly, and I don't know what the hell to do with it. I don't think there's much we can do with it, really. Not with our current levels. Let's just have a gander, see if I can figure it all out. I mean, I could buy a suffering, but I'm kind of happy with the, the brimstone. Looking here, is there all else I'm just forgetting we could sell? I mean, the plate legs themselves would be 800k, but that's not going to be enough for bandos. Yeah, it's fuck all here. 20. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just kind of sat trying to think at the minute if there's anything that I'd prefer to upgrade to. I mean, I'd get more of a magic bonus from Arims, which might be better than Bloodbark, because we're not really planning on using Bloods that much. So I could get Arims and Carols. It'll improve my defense and my range. I think Carols beats Bless Dehide. I mean, I can use my time not in RuneScape, right? So, body. Ancient. Dehide. Ancient. Chops. And then we're gonna go body. Carols. Carols. So Carols has worse melee, but not by much. Better in the other two, but not by much. And it has the exact same ranged stats. Plus two prayer on this side. Yeah, there's not much point in going carols. What about Eclipse? Okay, so Eclipse gets one extra range strength. Some melee strength, which is irrelevant. And much worse defenses, so that's not worth it. Alright, what about Arims to Bloodbark? I'm pretty sure that is a better deal. Okay, so we lose a little bit of defense again, but we get a better... That's... Blood back I've just put in twice. We lose some some melee defenses, but we get a much better magic bonus there. And let's just go to the blue moon set. On the blue moon set, we get much worse defense bonuses than Arim's. And there's no real benefit. Yeah, extra melee strength again, which again we're gonna have melee gear. We don't care about that. So, yeah, I think Arim's is a good shout. Ooh, that's expensive. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. Woo! Yeah, that's most of our money. And that can replace these two. I feel like I should double check that I can actually wear it, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah, look at us go. Okay. And then I think we're just going to keep this blessed D hide. I mean, I could go for the Eclipse and use it as a melee swap as well. I'd have way less defense bonuses. But we won't get much money back out of it though, and there's not much we can do with the money we have already, so it doesn't feel too necessary. I think I'll just buy some more blood runes. And I want some soul runes as well, in case I end up wanting to tear them in with me. How much are the bone claws? Let's see. Yep, didn't think so. <laughs> Alright. I guess... Let's just get inventory tags on, because I haven't set them up and I do like to use them, it helps me out, even though it's an, a, seen as a newbie thing, stereotypically, I prefer them. So if you don't know what inventory tags are, it's the setting in here, inventory tags, and then you can shift right click an option and pick a colour for it. So I have my range stuff as green. I'm gonna set all that to green. I have my mage stuff as blue. So we're gonna set all of that to blue. It's a bit light. I want it to be brighter. And then I'm gonna put this as yellow, because it's kind of an edge case ranged. And this as pink, because it's spec. I just don't want to get this confused with my four-way switch here. And then, we need this stuff all tagged with orange. 
Okay, so that switch is kind of awkward in vent space wise because of the double here. There's not much we can do about that. I suppose that would be the other way to get around it, wouldn't it? Seems good. Right then. I don't think there's any more preparation I could possibly do. I, I still don't like this blue. I'm going to change that. There we go. Maybe this is the thumbnail moment. Wait, no, I need scurry. I need scurry. Oh, I can get him from the bank here. And yes, I'm just going to spend my last two minutes getting a thumbnail because fuck else am I going to do? I'm moving this just off screen for the minute and me so I can do this. <laughs> Okay, slow walk is done. Fully top up my energy and health for tomorrow. Pointless making a group because as soon as you log out, it disbands your party. So I'm going to have to do that at the start of the session no matter what. And we want to get all our shit ready to go. I'm, like, I'm excited. Get standing here and gearing up has got me so excited. I'm not an ancients. I'm not an ancients. I guess our first run, we're doing it without ancients, folks. I'll take food instead. No blood spells for me. That's not going to go well. I already know it's not going to go well, but I don't want to spend five minutes at the start of tomorrow running to the fucking ancient altar or finding a house. Oh, I knew I'd fuck something up. It wouldn't be one I'll live it locked if I didn't, would it? It just simply wouldn't be the same. We are good to go though. In fact, I'm just going to put Scurry away. I don't want to take him in with me because if I die in there, he goes. So yeah, get rid of that. Tomorrow it's road time, folks. I am unbelievably hype. Let me know in the comments if you are too. This is everything we've been building towards for the past 143 days. I think this is day 143. It might be 142. I'm sure I'll have put it in the title of the video because the video knows more than I do. But yeah, let's get some hype. Let's get some love in the comments. Let's get some good luck for my ancientless run like a fucking idiot. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Add to the growing family. Come and join us here for one hour limit locked and everything beyond that I have planned. Hit that like button too. And don't forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.